Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Lunatic playthrough. So, when we left off, we'd just defeated the Wall of Flesh, and we started doing a little bit of hard mode mining. Now, when I handed in that mask, you guys may remember, but it actually told us we have 27 days left to stop the apocalypse. Well, like, my reaction to that was like, well, that's quite a lot. Like, we've been doing this really fast, so me and the creator of the mod agreed... I'm now going to do it in nine. So I have nine days left. I just adjusted it. So we have nine days. So I'm just going to continue on with my strat. And that was to get myself a pair of leaf wings because I've had no mobility throughout this series. So got my leaf wings. I'll replace it with the... I'm going to go with the band of regen. I'm going to replace it with that. We'll just uh, get rid of that and go. Right. So I literally have to go straight back to mining now. So if I just show you this... The lunatic will now say, yeah, nine days remaining. So I've got nine days. Right, and I need to go mining again. So I'm just trying to think of where I want to go mining. Um, Probably here would probably be a really good option. I mean, in the ice biome, I feel like that's probably the best. Oh, God, I hate that die. Oh, no. <laughs> Get rid of that. That looks, that looks trash. <laughs> not a fan, not a fan. All right, so I've got my, uh, I've got my potions... And I'm literally ready to go. I've actually got a guide up next to me as well to help me with some of the uh, some of the ore stuff. Because I always forget the the, uh, the pattern where it goes, alright, you need to make an anvil, then you need to make a, uh, a thingy. Right, okay, I needed this. But I don't know if I have the money now. Yeah, I only have 6 gold. So I need 15. Right, well, I know what I can do. There's actually a, uh, a strange plant, I think, somewhere to the left. I'm going to grab this strange plant. Because that will give me a few gold. And then we'll go from there. I just need this uh, light source because I don't actually see. I think there's a strange plant. I'm pretty sure there's one to the left. Because I'm going to grab that. Because I need um I need the, the tinkerer station. And I could also do with the rocket boots. Alright, let's get this lit up. Um, hmm, not here. It's not here. It's because I saw it on the way to the, uh, to the leaf wings. And I was like, I'll leave that. I was like, I don't need that yet. I was like, money's going to be fine. But now, is it here? Is that it? No, okay, that's not it. It is around here, though. So let's see. Not here. Oh, there it is. There it is. See, I, I remembered seeing one. Right, let's go back to the homeland. So we've already got eight gold, because I have two in my inventory. So, right, give this to a die trader. Right, glowing mushroom, which means... Right, it only sells for two, but I'm going to sell this as well. So we have lost our famous blue dye, but that is fine. Because we have 7 and 6, which makes 13. So we're too short. Okay, what can we sell for 2? Actually, you know what we can probably sell? We could probably sell... This isn't the material, is it? No. It's great, that. Alright, so I'm going to sell that. I'll sell the vial thorn. And I will sell... You know what, I probably don't want to sell anything else from here. I do have some ores left over that I could probably sell. So I'll sell the sapphires and the amethyst and the topaz. See what we get for that. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. That takes us up to 9, 9 and 6. There we go, 15. Awesome. Right, and we'll grab the goblin again. So I think in terms of NPCs, I actually have all the ones I need. So I've got the goblin tinker now, so we can start reforging stuff. Do I have a tavern keep, though? I feel like... I don't know if I found the tavern... The tavern master? Because I do need the tavern master. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I have him. Actually, let's... It's easier to look here, isn't it? Okay, I still need the tavern master, so I've got to look out for that. Maybe we'll find him in a minute anyway with the Splunk potion. So we'll see. Right. Shop. I need the rocket boots, and I need the Tinker's Workshop. So I'm going to combine straight up these into Spectre boots... And then, I don't have an aglet, I don't believe. So an aglet would be something that would be really good for right now. And then, I may as well combine... What do these go with? These go with something, right? That we can use? Alright, that makes the power glove. That's the titan glove, so I'll remember that. And then, this is... Yeah, you do need the aglet, and I definitely don't have the aglet. Let's have a little look at you. You can combine these with... So these are all hard mode stuff as well. And I think that's it. I think that's what I want to look at. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. I will take this with me now, though, 
just so I can alt favorite that, my dude. And let's see, Spelunk Potion and Mining Potion. Let's get to work on actually uh, mining away. So we've got enough, we've almost got enough Palladium to, uh, to make the next pickaxe. And then once we've got that, we can go on from there. Oh my god, look at that. Isn't that perfect? That is like the perfect amount. <laughs> That's probably literally just enough as well to finish it. So we have nine bars. If I look over at my guide, we actually need 18 bars. Right, okay. May, we, we may not have that much. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so we, we only need... Uh, how many more bars do we need? We need nine more bars. Alright, that's fine. To be honest, when I was uh, doing my mining in the uh, in the last episode, I didn't actually get that much done because I uh, I ended recording and then and then I died because I was distracted. Okay, let's see. Because I've got to remember, we don't actually have a we don't actually have full health here. We've, we're still kind of clawing on with our uh, our little amount of health. Right, he didn't drop any cursed anything there. We could really do with more souls of night as well for the mechanical worm. Got to keep that in mind. All right, giant bat, get out of there. Okay, we're kind of getting a little bit hounded by enemies. I mean, that worm is a right pain. There we go. Right, kill this corruptor off. It's so nice playing in normal mode where they don't spit. <laughs> All right, get rid of this. Okay, they have no rear drops, do they? I don't think so. Oh, hunter's potion? Oh, that's actually pretty good. We could really use that right now. I'm going to use that now for the tavern keep. If we find uh, if we find the tavern keep, because he can spawn without housing, I believe. Because I don't think you need ha eligible housing. Like, I'm pretty sure you can find him at the start of the game without housing. That's always something I can look up, though, because I need to do Betsy the boss. What's that thing? An ice elemental. Oh, it looks a little bit different with a hunter's potion on. Right, let's uh, let's smelt some more. Put a torch down. So we are now. Up oh, there we go. Oh wow, <laughs> really did have enough. Okay, so first pickaxe is the palladium pickaxe. Right, and then it's on to uh, it's on to what's it? Mithril next. I can't remember which one we actually have. Is it mithril? Is this mithril? One sec. Ooh, get out of here. Right, it's mithril next. Okay, so we have to get a bunch of mithril. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make all of the crafting stations. So I'll make my uh, my mithril anvil, and I'll make my uh, titanium forge or whatever. And um, I'm just going to keep going up the pickaxe tier until we get to the final tier, which is either adamantite or uh, titanium, I can't remember. And then from there, I'm literally going to craft a full set of um, a full set of armor. Now, I was kind of like debating this, but I feel like if I make the full set of armor, I can then do all three of the mechanical bosses and probably Duke Fishron with that, I imagine. I mean, that's just a, just a guess. I'm pretty sure I could do that. So that would be like really profitable to us. Like that's a, a good amount of armor to like take us through like quite a good chunk of the game. So I feel like that's why it's worth doing because, I mean, there is other armors. I mean, there's like... Well, let's see, there's like ice armor, and then there's chlorophyte armor later on. But I think once we've, once we've got it, we'll be fine, you know what I mean? I feel like, I, I definitely feel like it's worth getting all three of the, uh... <laughs> I definitely feel like it's, it's, getting, it's worth getting all three of the pickaxes to then get a thingy, you know, a full set. Right, so I am going to go for chests and stuff I've not found yet, because I could really do with invisibility potions... And I could really do with like cloud and a bottle and stuff like just extra mobility for later on because I feel like I'm going to need the speed for when we do a uh, Duke Fishron. Because Duke Fishron's obviously quite fast. And because you're kind of confined to one area, I definitely feel like it's worth uh, just kind of looking into extra mobility. Right, okay. I need more, uh, more Mithril. I, I remember that there was some at the top, so that's why I went back. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's a nice chunk there. Now, I usually cut mining out of my series, but I feel like considering this is like all about time and stuff, and I want to show you uh, what we can do in our amount of time, I'm going to show it. Because obviously, like, the, the countdown is really, like, drooped down to nine. So, uh, <laughs> it's going to be even harder. So, I feel like I want to show everything just in case we trigger the apocalypse and doom the world forever. And don't you guys, uh... <laughs> 
Don't you guys think I don't know? I know some of you are rooting for me to fail just to see the apocalypse. <laughs> we will see, everyone. We will see. Okay, so I'm going to take another Spelunker. I used the last of our, uh, our Blink Root to actually make these, so I could really do with uh, getting all of my ore with that amount of potions. Okay, I don't think I've got a, um, a thingy on me anyway. Oh, armor polish? I'll take armor polish. I mean, we already, did we get a Nazar in this series? Or was it Thorium? I think it's Thorium. I'm just getting confused myself now. Right, because uh, we could do it for the invisibility potion, by the way, for the truffle worms. Okay, that was probably not a good call. So I'm just going to chill out a little minute. Oh, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Alright, I don't want an onslaught of deaths, but I feel like I'm going to have to bail on this. There we go. Okay, right. <laughs> I don't feel too guilty about that, because I did think that was kind of like... We were pushing the line there. We were going to die. Alright, let's see. Potions, potions, potions. Alright, so I now have Night Owl and Thorns. I'm going to put a recall in there anyway. And then I'm not too sure how many Mithril ores it takes. So I'm going to put this down. And we'll see. So let's smelt these into uh, into bars. So a Mithril anvil takes up 10. Right, okay. So we've gotten rid of that. And then if I have a little look here, I think it's another 18 again for the actual pickaxe. Right, so it's 15, so that's not bad. So I will take this with me, and we're just going to crack on again. And we're just going to keep carrying on. See, I was kind of... I was kind of thinking we should hell dive, but then now, obviously, like, because there's so much ore just around, I feel like it's probably worth just kind of walking around and trying to find it. I feel like the final tier, the adamantite or titanium, I feel like that's when it's going to be worth just diving down to get it, because that's going to be, like, a real pain. All right, I'm going to go this way this time, just to, uh, just to see a little bit more of the map. Okay. All right, so this is Ice Biome territory now, because I haven't been to the Ice Biome yet. So that means, like, lots of chests and stuff that I've probably not gotten, which is going to really be useful. Oh my god, it's super dark. <laughs> Right, let's see. Uh, well, nothing. Oh my god. Those worms are actually such a pain when you're in hard mode because obviously we don't have the best uh, the best weapon yet. And I think the weapon I'm going to go for is just a simple repeater. I feel like that's probably going to be the most profitable for us. Right, let's head this way. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Right, I'm going to need to craft up a few more torches because I've run out. Okay, that is a good amount. <laughs> that makes a change because we had a we had a few episodes where we didn't even have any. This literally should be enough now to actually grab the final uh, the well, the second tier pickaxe. That's what I'm thinking at least. But this bigger uh, big chunk of it here should be good. And then after this, because it's half eleven, and I imagine by the end of the next day. We should have enough to do the full set of armor, and we have enough to, um, is that adamantite? So I feel like it is, it's an adamantite world. Right, okay. So we should have enough to do the full set of armor and have a weapon, and then we can literally just do the mechanical worm, because the mechanical worm is really easy to craft, because it's literally iron, some souls of night, and, um, <clears throat> and some chunks. And then it, after that, it's going to be the... Uh, I'll probably do the Twins after that, and then Skeletron Prime. But all three of those should be... Alright. I mean, it should be it should be easy-ish. Right, what is this? Alright, that's... Oh, that's Palladium. Okay. Alright, I could do with that Heart Crystal. I think... Do you know what? It's kind of coming back to me. Maybe I missed a Heart Crystal earlier. Because I feel like I saw one and then was like, Oh, don't need it. Okay. Alright, let's level this out. Okay, so let's put down our uh, our forge and our anvil. Let's smelt up the mithril. Okay, so the mithril is well over once again. So I'm going to make the next pickaxe, get rid of this one, but I'll keep it in my inventory. And then we are good to go. So I'm going to go hell dive this time. So which... One sec, we're going to have to get out of here. 
I don't know if it's quicker. I'm going to go back up to the surface, drop some stuff off. <clears throat> drop some stuff off and then go. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll head back down again. You'll have to uh, you'll have to bear with me, everyone. <clears throat> As you can hear, I'm like coughing and stuff. I actually have a... I get really bad hay fever in the summer. And I've got like blocked nose. I've got sore throat. You may have seen it in some of my other videos. I mentioned it the other day. I mentioned it on Chippy's couch as well. How I've been having to use this throat spray that like numbs your throat to record. Kind of hilarious to be honest. I mean, <laughs> oh god, we were blaming some uh, some silly stuff on the uh, on the throat spray the other day. <laughs> it's a good crowd over on Chippy's couch. They get it. They get it. <laughs> All right, let's head down. Oh my god. All right, clingers are the worst. Clingers really can kill. So I'm just gonna try to stay out the way. Oh, I'll take those cursed flames though. They make for some good arrows. And I think the arrows are probably going to be what I use, like cursed flamed arrows. Right, let's see. I'm going to have to cut through this biome, which I'm not too fond of. Oh, we actually got through it all right. Okay, that's good. Okay, and now I haven't done this in a few days, but I feel like our hell is just down here. No, okay. All right, I should have been checking the minimap. Oh, wow, that lava, uh, that lava moss looks so good. Okay. Oh, there's a Mimic. Nice. Right, let me get into a position where I can kill this Mimic. Because you can knock it into lava, right? Oh, snap! No, I didn't want to do that. Damn it, giant bat. Okay, let's see. Can we knock you into anything? Hmm, okay. Right, I'm not going to be able to knock it, but... Depending on what we get here, this could be pretty good. Like, I could do with uh, a Titan's Glove... I could have a Philosopher's Stone. I could really do with anything but the Graph. Oh, great. <laughs> anything but the Jewel Hook. I don't necessarily need it. Like, I didn't necessarily need the Jewel Hook. Okay, we'll swap it over, though. There we go. I don't know if the Jewel Hook's even better than my Slime Hook, because I like the triple shot from the Slime Hook. Okay, right. Time to Hell Dive, because this area of Hell is still uh, unaffected by Hard Mode, right? I believe that's how that works. So what ore is that? You're going to have to bear with me as I as I mess up ores. They changed the sprites to them. Uh, they've changed the sprites from like four times since I played Terraria. As in like four times over the course of my five, six years of Terraria. So I do actually get them confused still. Even though I'll, I'll mine them five minutes later, I'll forget. It's one of my biggest flaws. All right. What is that? That's tungsten, right? No, that's silver. See, look at, look at that. Terrible. Honestly, one of my biggest faults. It's one of many, I swear. Alright, what is around? So that's silver again. See, I worry if we have not done enough to uh, to actually trigger enough, uh, enough third tier ore. And that's what I'm worrying about. Because we should have seen more. We should have seen a good amount by now. Maybe I haven't. I've just completely missed it. Okay, got to be careful here because I don't necessarily know what I'm getting into. Okay, nothing. All right. This method is not turning out to be the best thing in the world. Oh, snap. Oh, I never even got to open up any shadow chests. <laughs> I never got to do it. All right, let's cut through here. Um, hmm. Okay, I do need to speed this up in the sense of like, oh, there we go. All right, it's adamantite. Oh, God, that took a while to find. That really worries me. You know, if it takes that long to find just adamantite, that's really troubling. Oh, snap, 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 snap. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to go back and kill the imp and kill the guy. Oh, my God. I could do with like a bowl of soup or something like that. Like just something to uh, to just raise my stats a little bit. Potions is going to be one thing as well. Like we don't have the potions for anything. I'm going to have to rely on what we find in the next few chests, admittedly. Like I say, uh, an invisibility potion would be really good. Just help me with the truffle worm because that's truffle worms are RNG, right? So truffle worms only spawn through RNG. And it's going to be tricky to uh, 
to hold one down without an invisibility potion. <clears throat> right, more Radamantite. Great. Awesome. A good amount. This is making me excited because I know that by the end of this, we will literally have enough to uh, to just smash a bunch of mechanical bosses. And then we're adding six days onto our time by doing all of that. And that's going to be good. So in the original, in the original setup, it was three days for a mask. Featherfall, I'll take that. Yeah, it was three days for a mask. Now it's uh, now it's just two. So once again, just, just escalating the thing. Because I want this to be as tense as possible. Like I really want this to uh, to push me to do it faster. This is like my fastest playthrough ever. And I want to fend off the apocalypse. Right, no adamantite there. Okay. Let's see. None up here. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, literally. I'm so unlucky. This is, um... I do feel like this is because of the demon altars. Because we only broke three of them. This is the like. This is the game being like, ha! Like, <laughs> we're not spawning more for you, James. Or at least I feel that way. I mean, I should probably turn off that mini-map. Hmm. Okay. What? Here we go. Right, fly over here. So we've seen a good chunk of the world by doing this, but literally, once again, just no actual ore. Well, oh, there is a, there's a, a few small pieces here. It's gotten to the point where, like, I'm like, I'll take that. <laughs> like, this is worth it. Right. I don't want a repeat of uh, of the last episode. I'm not going to chuck that one in. Oh, snap. A corrupt mimic. No, not a corrupt mimic. What am I about? It's a mimic shaped like a corruption chest. It's not a corrupt mimic. Can I get this to just jump in lava? If I go here, will it just stay in the lava? Come here. If I block it off here. There we go. Do they get affected by lava? I'm pretty sure they do. Okay. Ooh, a philosopher's stone. I'll take that. I'll dump a bunch of this stuff. I do need to keep little things for uh, for potions later on. Philosopher's Stone, though. That's not bad. What I'll do is I will put down my Tinkerer Station. And I'll combine that with the Band of Regeneration. So that will make the... Uh, what will that make me? Oh, I I've not picked it up. Okay. That will make me a Charm of Mist. Provide life regeneration and a cooldown for uh, healing potions. Okay, I'll make that. And we'll get out of here. Once again, got to avoid um, triggering the Wall of Flesh. Okay, so another Splunk Potion. We only have one left after this. That's not necessarily good because I actually don't have any more... Uh, Oh, that's not that's really not good. The fact that we've only found that amount in a whole half a world that is actually really bad. <laughs> oh no. That is that's is genuinely troubling because this literally means it's going to be so hard to uh to get a full set of it. Okay. I oh, I don't have my shadow key on me. Damn, I could uh, I could honestly do with some of the potions in there like uh like what would you get for example? You could get a um What's the li a life po uh, not heart reach potion? You could get a life force potion, so that would give you extra um, extra life. I feel like it might be worth to uh, to do a little bit of fishing at some point. But then again, when you're playing for days, you don't necessarily want to be spending it fishing. Right, I've got to get to my other half of this world, and then I'm going to go and do the other side. Right, okay. Whew. Alright, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to end today's episode here. I, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I uh, What I'll do is, in the next episode, I'll go and collect a bunch of ore now, and then we'll start next episode having done that. And it should be really good. But guys, I want to thank you all for uh, for watching. I hope you've had a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.